Hello there and welcome to this follow-up tutorial about stylized trees. In this one we are going to learn how to make LODs for, for the tree and how to make the leaves texture. We are just gonna use one bush but the process can easily be used to uh, make LODs for the tree. So this is the bush that I created with the same steps that I used to make the tree. Uh, so let's just go ahead and learn how to make the how to make the textures. Uh, so here's a node setup. If you're wondering, uh, we have the texture, then we have alpha channel connected to the factor and transparent shader. I also added subsurface scattering and diffuse and merged them with the mix shader and then plugged it in into another mix shader. A node and then the final output if you want to get the same results you can just take a screenshot and make the whole setup on your own blender also I'm gonna upload the file on my gun road so you can just go there and download it if you want to tinker around uh, so yeah about the textures uh, I'm gonna use affinity photo for this uh, so file new file and i'm gonna set the canvas size to 512 512 with a transparent background hit create so you just need to make a few marks or strokes uh, on the canvas uh, with the color of your choice um let's uh, let's let's do orange this time select the brush I'm gonna use inks yeah this one yeah so just make a few marks uh, on the canvas using the brush make sure you fill the space with, uh, with enough gap and and this is pretty much it I just uh, center it a bit so the process is very simple uh, it should also oh like like the whole steps thing should also work on Photoshop uh, also I'll make a new texture uh, let's call it leaves one and for the new texture, let's create some different pattern. Uh, I'll just quickly delete this layer. Create another brush. Select another brush. Uh, this looks good. Increase the size, maybe. Small. Big. Around 50 is fine. Yep. Now let's put some random like stamps on the canvas and see how it looks in, in the actual in the actual scene oh let's save this one as well these call it in blender just replace the file like leaves one we also need to adjust the subsurface color because we are using orange color now or maybe like this yeah so we got these leaves and let's also test the other one uh leaves too so this one looks pretty nice i guess they look really nice these patterns also make sure uh, when you set the transparent thing you set blend mode to alpha clip if you don't set it to this one if you set it to opaque it's gonna look like uh, this so just set it to alpha clip and uh, that's it all right uh, so you're done with the with the shader also the textures Let's just quickly hide the pot and 
create LODs for this. Let's go to layout. Uh, I'll just quickly set the origin to 3D cursor. So duplicate your your mesh, or move it apart a bit, and then in edit mode, select any of the face. Go to select, uh, select random. Now here you will see how many face uh, faces are are selected uh, right now. We have 450 faces in total, and we have 244 selected, which is a bit too much for the second level. Uh, LOD so just decrease the number a bit uh, 153 is fine delete those faces and now you have a bush with only 594 this one has 900 and this one has 9 594 sorry now duplicate this one again select any of the face Again, select select random. Um, we have 297, and I guess uh, 84 faces are fine for this one. Or maybe increase it a bit. Let's make it 100. So 394. If you want to create one more level of detail, oh. Well, uh, we're just gonna see how to fill those faces. Select the face, select random again, and set it to. We have a 97 faces. Let's select yeah, 70 or something. I don't know. Yeah. So now we have 258. I guess we can go further. Select random. Let's make it 100. Check here. Uh, you can check the number of faces being selected. Delete that. Now we have 196. Uh, for 196. Now how, how do we like fill these faces? Uh, we have this gap in this in this one as well. So uh, to Fill this, uh, just increase the size with individual origins. Since this leaves texture is a bit smaller, like this, the leaves are a bit smaller, that's why we are, we are getting this face in the middle. So just increase the size of your leaves. And for the last one, make it a little bit bigger. Uh, but when it's in perspective and it's afar uh, from the player, it will just look fine. So that way you can actually uh, make a different level of details for for your tree. Well, I just used the bush because as you know, I didn't actually save the tree last time. But this time I'm gonna save the bush file and I'm gonna share it with you guys uh, via Gumroad, also on Sketchfab. So thank you for watching. I hope I answered all those questions in the comments. If you still have some, you can comment on this one. And bye bye and take care.